Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I wanted to do an unboxing and maybe a quick look at this uh, Vastfire uh, work light. It's rechargeable, it's built in, it's pretty nice, I'll say first. Uh, this is actually a smaller version of a hyper tough light I bought at Walmart. I have a bigger one. This is like a nicer little portable one, but it's just kind of the same concept. And I thought it was pretty good. It was about $40, and I've been using it. The main thing I hate, especially on high, but I just kind of got in the habit of using it on low, it just wouldn't last very long. I only turn it on when I'm in my basement, uh, an apartment with a, we have like little storage areas. They're not well lit, and I don't have it on all day. It's just on, you know, 10, 20 minutes here and there. I have to recharge it too soon. So Vastfire sent me this one to try out. Uh, from the description of what I've been reading, supposedly it's going to be better. It's supposed to be brighter, bigger battery. It's a lot bigger, has a lot of features, and hopefully it's going to be an improvement on that. And uh, for the money, I think it competes with those lights. And uh, compared to what I see, you know, there's a lot of smaller lights and then electric light, you know, corded lights or lights like a Milwaukee or a Ryobi that you need to have that separate battery pack. But this is all built in, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. Now, here's the listing. Uh, make sure to check see if they have a coupon because that would be a really good a lot of times new um, products they sell them a lot cheaper until they get enough people to verify that they're worth it and then that coupon might go away but if there's a coupon make sure <clears throat> make sure to clip it but you can see it says it's 10,000 lumen that's pretty a uh, big claim there so uh, I don't have a way to measure that and quite frankly for the price I really don't care I just want it to be you know pretty bright and have a good battery and it's supposed to be adjustable in both Kelvin color temperature and then an output brightness. And you can see it also has a, a solar panel, so you could charge it like that. Then you can see here it says 5,000 lumen, but five hours. So I don't know if that's a 5,000 lumen settings five hours or if it, they're saying it's just 5,000 there. I'm not sure. And then it's also a, apparently a 20,000 milliamp hour battery, so I hope so. And then it can be used as a battery bank too. But my phones get through the day, and I would want all the juice to power the light and use it for that purpose. But I never complain when that is there as an option if you need it. And you can see you get the handle and the hook and everything. So get started with the unboxing. Now, unfortunately, they didn't send me any uh, retail packaging, so I don't have a box. Probably don't even have instructions, so I gotta do my best here to... But the main thing I got is the light, and you do get this carrying case, so... I like that. I mean, where I'm gonna set it up, it's probably gonna stay in place and not be moved. Okay, so everything's just kinda... Again, I wonder if the retail packaging uh, that was just laying in there, no wrap on it or anything. So if it comes like that, oh well. But hopefully retail be a little nicer. So you do have a hook. Now this is kind of flimsy. But sometimes plastic like this can actually, you know, withstand some uh, tension on it. That's all you get, just basically this and your charger or your cord. You have to provide your own power adapter. But then you do have the solar panel here. Looks like there's some tape or something on that. I don't know if it's a protective cover on that or what that is. But Okay, so now I'd like to just take a closer look. You can see this is pretty big here. I could just get the uh, ruler out, but you can look at the specs on their website. I believe it's a... It's at a pound and a half. I don't know. It feels a little heavier than that. It definitely got some weight to it. But if it has a big battery, like they said, 20,000 milliamp hour, then I'll put up with that weight because that's one thing I like, is, uh, especially if it's like a high output like this, having that battery life. So you do get this handle. And... There is some movement there. You can, I'm not exactly sure. It just holds it in place, maybe. But you do have a little bit of an adjustment if you needed it. 
to worry about that later. And then you get this hook. And what I'm kind of doing with my uh, other, the uh, hyper tough one, is it has a, actually I think the small one has the same setup, so there's no hook. You do get a nice sturdy handle, but this one has the built-in hook. So I'm just using a carabiner clip to hang it on the uh, cage from my uh, storage space to where hopefully this one will just hook onto the cage. If it doesn't, I can still just put the carabiner on this. I mean, you, you, this is a lot of weight for this little plastic pin, I assume, it's holding this all in here. So hopefully that doesn't snap. It's supposed to be shockproof, drop proof. That's what it said on the, uh, the listing of the description. Um, one thing they did good, so you can see they put a little accommodation there so that won't press the power button, so that was a good design. And then it also works as a hand grip. But again, this is probably the thinnest plastic on it. But if it holds up, then who cares? And you can see there was no instruction manual with this, so I'm assuming charging was C since they gave me a type C. I just wish everything at this point was C on both ends. So I plug this in, I plug this into a power adapter. I assume if that's an input, I can go in this way, but then who's to say I couldn't plug this in and plug this into a type C and unless one specifically input and output off to figure that out off camera. And most importantly, the power button. So I, again, I don't have a manual. I'm assuming that's the strength, the lumens, and not the battery status. So I'm getting Okay, that was something. So, I'm going to turn it on to see if it's bright or not. That looks pretty cool. That's probably the 6,000 range. That's like a 27 to 3,000 range right there. That's more around your 5,000 daylight. It's a blinking red, which I did, could live without that, but you, know, you might need a steady red, and then you're off. So, uh, I, it said it was stepless adjustment, as you can see in that uh, description. I don't know where the adjustment is at. I don't think this does anything. Change it to a... I, I, I don't see where the adjustment's at. So you have to hold it, it looked like, on, hold it, and then it goes down, on, hold it, and then it goes down. So that's something, that's the first time we have to knock this with. I don't like this control switch, especially without a user manual, but if this can help anyone, again, I really hope that the uh, retail units have a user's manual. That's going to be a bit of a problem. So, and I'm going to let this go for like another minute, and I'm hoping when I press it again, it either comes back on to the same setting or it starts from the beginning and doesn't have, or have to cycle through that flashing red. Um, again, like I said, the price it's at now, if that's 70% off, I would say you can put up with that. If this is a good performing light, uh, it seems pretty well made. You know, it's big battery. You do have that neat solar feature. And I like all the different temperatures. But I don't like one button to control everything. I think there should either be a brightness slider or a scroll wheel or make this turn. But I like it two separate, less likely for a failure. One should be on off like this, and maybe also a toggle, like a cycle, and one should be separate for um, 
the intensity. I don't like swick having to cycle through and then hold it and hold it for quite a while to get the lumen output to change. I like that it's all capable, but uh, that's something, and uh, maybe in a future version, yeah, I can see that. But So hopefully they don't raise the price too much. If you can get the coupon with it, I think most people can put up with that. So you saw I let that, that was on for that minute, and it's going to cycle. So, and it looks like we're getting full output. I'm holding it, and now it's going down. So that's going to be really annoying. If I have to go in, let's say uh, it's off, and... I go into my storage area, turn it on. I don't care if it's cool white or warm. That'll, I can live with just the light. If I wanted to sit in there and actually do something, which I probably just take it outside if I needed better lighting. But um, So I have to cycle through. If I, I can't just shut it off. I'm going to have to cycle. And to say that's too bright, I'm going to keep it on for an hour so I don't need it to be really bright, just enough to see where my tools are at. i got to hold it. Now it's going to lower, and I'll leave it here. And then half hour I'm done. i got to cycle through to get back off. And i got to cycle through those two unnecessary flashing red if I was going. Um, cool, warm, neutral, off. But the fact that I got to go to those, again, those could have been some type of double click or triple click to bring those up. So um, this is a new product. So, you know, if it's their first try, I'm not going to get too mad about it. If it performs well, you know, that's annoying, but I can live with that. I'd like to actually take this down to that area I'm talking about, see if it'll uh, hang up the way I want. And I'll show you the hyper tough I'm using and compare the two and go from there. I might have to come back at a later time or in the comments, see how long, because I'm not going to just sit here and burn this thing if I'm not going to use it. But uh, I would probably get no more than four or five trips down there with the Hyper Tough before if I'm in there for 10 or 15 minutes until it would need charge. And it would take a good five, six hours with the included AC adapter. Again, they're giving you USB here. So... I have a 5 watt adapter for my iPhone, and then I have an 18 watt and I think a 60 some watt for my MacBook, but those are type C adapters. So once I find out what the input is, if it's C, I think I have a C to C for my iPad Pro, which I think was also maybe a, I don't know, I could figure it up. So hopefully I can get a little faster charging with this big uh, battery in here. Or again, you could just lay it out in the sun, but that wouldn't be practical for what I'm using it for and it'd be a very slow charge but I can never complain when they put something neat like that as an additional feature and I actually found out I labeled it so I'll remember this is an output and this is an input that's what I figured but um, just to test that let's see if I can find all my wires here this is C on both ends this is my own cable these headphones are type C so I plug it in Nothing on here, nothing on here. I'll get rid of this now. Let's see here. I go, I plug into the output with the uh, C on this end, and that lights up, and this lights up. So this is an output. Now I'm not even gonna fool around seeing if that's an input and running uh, you know, a power adapter with voltage into this because I don't want to risk messing something up. But I know this one doesn't power out and this one does. So I'm just going to assume that this is in only and this is out only. And then to charge it, you can still use this cable in the other direction. And with this uh, crappy 5 watt charger. Now, if you had C on both ends, then I could use my bigger charger, but since I don't, unless I want to use my good wire for that one, you can see this charges and it appears that this light or this indicator is your battery life. 
so I'm almost fully charged. The only thing I don't understand is you can see that it says max and then it looks like, like a brightness slider. So you would think when you're adjusting the lumens that this would change, but it doesn't appear to. It seems that this is only a battery indicator. So, oh, one other thing, while this is plugged in and charging, the light still works, which I always like that. And I'm not sure if that's the greatest thing to do, to be you know heating it up with charge and using it. But if you were in a pinch and you had to use it like this, at least you can. But, um, so I'm disconnected. I turn it on and now I'm gonna adjust that brightness by holding this in. You can now see it's dimming and nothing's changed here. So this doesn't work as a brightness indicator, even though it kind of looks like it. So again, I don't have the instruction manual either. I'm assuming something wrong or that this just doesn't work how you would now it's listed to, but uh, that should hopefully helps clean up the uh, input, output and charging. Okay, so right now, this is the hyper tough one on high. which you can see is pretty good, but the battery won't last very long. So usually I turn it on low, which isn't a big difference when it's uh, the camera adjusts, but high, low. So this one did just fine for my use, but it's just, it didn't have very good battery life. So we're gonna hook this one up. If I can not get the, you can kind of see there what I'm doing since there was no easy way to attach this, just using that carabiner clip with the hole in this and this one, hopefully with the hook on it, we'll just hook right up and I won't have to mess with anything else. Hopefully that hook doesn't break either. Okay, so now the hyper tough's off. Uh, this clip's not being used and I'm just using it with the hook that they give with it. I'll probably tighten this up once I get the angle I want. Now again, the camera adjusts. That's way too blue on my end. You probably won't see it. Um, and that's way too yellow. Yeah, I think the camera adjusts most of that out. But then this third setting, which is daylight, that one's pretty much perfect. It's a little bit brighter than this is on high, but you can see with this, you just had the one row of LEDs with the reflector. And this, you're getting a way better, more of a flood. So it doesn't make a huge difference in a tight space, but this would, I've seen their like advertisement video where it's gonna cover a lot of ground. If you took this outside or needed it to do some work on a car at night or something or on your patio, it worked just fine. So I think that high is a little overkill. And what I don't like, now I gotta sit here and now hold it. And now I'm bringing the brightness down. So if I just needed to grab something real quick, I don't think I'm gonna wanna cycle, then hold it, then go do what I need to. Um, so hopefully that's where that battery life will come into play. If, it, if you can get like five hours on the main brightness, then I won't even need to adjust it. I can just leave it the way it is. But the other thing I didn't like, so I can't shut it off. I have to get a seizure and then and it's gonna do that every time. And one last thing I'll show before I show them together is since I got a reach, that's, let me dim it a little. That's where this flimsy handle is coming into play again, especially that hook. Since this is all I'm using, if that pin, because you gotta push, it's not so much when you cycle it, but since you gotta hold it to adjust the brightness, which again, I'm not a fan of that switch. I think just constantly pushing on that you can see there's some flex, but I'm really, I'll probably be okay, but I wouldn't be surprised if one day that hook gives way or this handle cracks and then this falls and probably just break. And then it'll be kind of useless off to figure out a new way to hook it up or wrap something around it and then tie it up. 
or if the handle is good and the hook breaks on, I can just put this carabiner back through it. So that's kind of my issue with it's just the build quality on that handle and the, just that switch. I wish they had two buttons or something there. But beyond that, though, I think it's pretty good. So if you can get a good price on it, I'd still recommend it just for the brightness alone, the battery life. And here's the uh, different, this was the full size one, not the one I showed earlier. This one has better build quality. It's built a lot thicker. This handle is much more sturdy. It just has a smoother motion, but you can see the huge difference. You know, smaller battery, way smaller, way less LEDs. You get way more with this bigger battery. And one other advantage though I like is it's gonna take a lot of run time, but I assume since that's the was the charge level, that's probably the same for the battery. So when it gets down to one, I can either know I need to go charge it or know it's gonna run out soon to where this one just would die. So you wouldn't know and you didn't didn't get that much use and then I'd, before you know it I have to charge it again. I don't have any light. With this, I'll see it's low and then I'll say, well, I'm done for today. I'll charge it and then I won't be in the dark. So there are some cons to this, unfortunately, but overall, I think I'm gonna be more happy with it than this one. I'll get used to cycling through and all that. But again, I'd like to see a few changes to it, better handle and another button or another way to do the switching with the lumen and Kelvin and cycles. Okay, so this habit sitting here. This is uh, full brightness on the daylight. The fuck's around, the, it's the middle one. It's not the super cold or the super warm. It's the middle one. And again, the exposure with this is a little generous, but it's, it's pretty, you know, it's decent. It's not like as bright as the overhead. And let's see if I, if I like put it up here it gives you a nice spill. But this thing's so heavy, I wouldn't even want it above my head. I'd rather just put it on the ground and use that handle as a kickstand or stand, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it does okay. It's not like the most bright light I've ever seen, but it has a, I like that wide beam. And again, for a tight, like in my cage there, it's gonna be just fine. Especially when you compare it to this light, this is smaller and it's, it's again it's good it's just that the battery life's the main issue with it now you can see it's a bit warmer of a temperature even on camera and it probably looks like it's about as bright but it's not again the camera is just kind of it's hard to get the exposure right to differentiate that it's uh probably about 75 percent the brightness but it doesn't have the spill and you're stuck with one temperature but again i would rather have some of the issues with this and have like I said hopefully that five hour runtime over this in like 20 minutes might dim a little bit and then without a question unless it was fully charged within an hour it'll just shut off so I think that's about all I have to show for this one uh, I'm not gonna get like too pit particular again there's no instructions I don't have that much to go off of this is an affordable work light it's decent doesn't have good battery life but it, it's been getting the job done this isn't the greatest just because I'd like to see, I'd rather even pay a little more and have different switch. I could live without that red bar on there altogether. But, and I'd like to see a you know, better handle on that. But you, I like that you get the solar charging. I like that you do have a battery bank feature. Now this one does too. You can see, because you have an AC in for charge and then you have that output. So this one's not bad either. But if you get this one a deal, as long as that battery life is advertised, I'm gonna be happy. I have it on lowest brightness. So who knows if I got like seven, eight, 10 hours on that, this is still enough to come in here and grab a tool or something, or if I need to rearrange something or find something, I think I'll leave it there. You can decide. It's at least know it's an option. It is better than this in most points, but uh, I'll leave a link and you can decide if you want this over the other one. Uh, again, it's vast fire on Amazon. So hopefully it was helpful. I'm pretty blind now from looking at these. I need to go rest my eyes. So thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.